Hi, John Carroll. I'm Sam Carey. And I'm Jessica fox -Liger. And here's what's going on today. Today is March 20th, 2014. It's a normal Bell D-Day, field trip blackout date. Representative is in the courtyard lobby for ring from 10 to 1, 8, 1 p.m. Concert rehearsal for Jess Klingerman's senior project is in the auditorium at 3.30 p.m. Academic music theater class is in the brown room at 7 p.m. Juniors, the ring representative will be here during today during your lunch mods to get any adjustments for your ring. Now to Jess with Slam Poetry. Slam Poetry, Local Music, Testimonies. Horizons is a concert to inspire hope, spark conversation, and unite in song by providing a night of slam poetry, local music, and testimonies. The night is free, doors open at 6.30 tomorrow, and music starts at 7. Now here's Taylor with the latest news on the snow. All across the state of Maryland has been affected by this crazy winter weather. Schools have been closed, businesses have lost money, and John Carroll is no different. John Carroll has suffered from 10 snow days so far this winter, causing many changes to be brought about. One of these changes is Cyber Days. Here is sophomore Rob Flynn on Cyber Days. They're a waste of time and that the school shouldn't have assigned them to all the students. Other students think that Cyber Day was a good idea. I think Cyber Day is really good because we can say him and do our homework until they come into school. But the damage from snow doesn't just stop there. John Carroll teachers are having to make adjustments to their schedules to keep on task. Here is Ms. Von Lang with the snow and how it's affecting her classes. I'll teach something for a few days and then we have a snow day or we have a few snow days and then a weekend and then you know, we have a short class and so we don't get that time back together again to reinforce it. John Carroll has to figure out how to make up any snow days that are not accounted for. Here is Ms. Ball on making up snow days. We only have one to make up, and uh, I'm not going to do that until we're sure all the snow is over. This indeed has been a crazy winter, and it's only March. We're not out of the woods yet. Tell him as a tester for JCTV News. Are you looking for somewhere exciting and cool to go next year for spring break? Well, here you go. Spring break 2015. Spring break in 2015 will be going to Ireland, Scotland, and England. If you're interested in any of this, please see Ms. Sarkowski, Ms. Michael, Mr. Hensley, or Mr. Barron for more information. Now with Jess with the Day of the Unborn. On Tuesday, March 25th, John Carroll will be observing the Day of the Unborn with a program in conjunction with the Bel Air Knights of the Columbus and the local chapter of Birthright. This day was instituted by Pope John Paul II. Now here's Sam with service opportunities and NHS. Do you need a service opportunity? Um, St. Margaret's Parish is once again offering a $1,500 to a high school student that is a St. Margaret's parishioner. This project must impact the community of Hartford County in some kind of way. The deadline of this is April 1st, 2014. For more information, please contact Ms. Jane at J-O-H-A-R-A at stmargarets.org or contact Mr. Martin for any application forms. The NHS will be meeting tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. in the Brown Room. Now with Jess with the sports. JV Softball is playing Archbishop Spaulding away at 4. Varsity Softball is playing Archbishop Spalding at home today at 4. JV Boys Lacrosse is playing Severn away at 4. Now over to Sam with the weather. Hi everyone. Now today is finally looking like spring's going to be here. Today there's a high of, 40, of 52 and a low of 30. Cloudy. Tomorrow a high of 54 low of 39. Still partially cloudy. On Saturday, a high of 63 and a low of 33, but it does look like we're going to get a little bit of rain in there. Sunday, a high of 47 and a low of 24. So today, if you have a game, you might not even need the Under Armour. Okay, so it looks like we're just getting maybe a little bit of sprinkles. We have this green, but it's, it's just green, not even a big deal. And now to be moving out, 
by, we'll probably see it around Friday, Saturday. It'll be completely gone by the next week. Now over to Jess. And that's the JCTV News. Bye.